Most of the time when you go here, this hammer hits you and knocks you down. To move forward without hitting the hammer, you have to move your character in such a way that the hammer can't even touch you. No matter where it is. If you fall here by mistake, you can go on like this too. Going this way will save you a lot of time. But use it only in emergency situation, because it is a bit hard. Jump here. Another jump here. Then dive in this manner. With this trick, you cannot go very fast, but you can definitely go at a decent speed. Sometimes when you have two guys left in the honey drop map, and they both have limited tiles. So to win there you have to stay on one tile longer, so that you can survive on top for longer. By the way, this trick is very risky, for this you will need a lot of practice. So let me tell you this trick. For this, you have to jump out in this way and then come back to the tiles. If you do this three times then you will save two tiles, and when you and your teammate of limited tiles means five or six tiles left, and if you save two tiles with this trick, then your chances of winning are very high. You can go like this too, it is also a big shortcut. To perform this trick, first see whether the arrow is up or down. Jump only if that arrow is up. If it's down, then wait for it to come up and once it's up, you have to jump from the corner. As you people would know that there are two ways to go ahead from here, first it collides with the satellite, second is to climb over it and go ahead, but here is another way that you can go ahead, and if you do it well, then you can go faster than both of these paths. Go here carefully avoiding the satellite, because most of the time you can collide with it. If you accidentally fall here, you can go up with the help of a hammer. For this, first you have to come to the hammer, and as soon as the hammer is about to hit you, you have to press the jump button, and as soon as you press the jump button, you will fly up a little and go back to the top platform. And you can do the same on the right side as well. This is a random match in which I used this trick, and this trick helped me a lot in qualifying. You can climb over it from here as well. If you think that the cannonball is about to hit you, then you can climb on it. And you can do the same on the right side as well. Most of the guys are not able to do this trick, then there is a new trick for them. And this method is very easy. To use this trick first you have to come here, and as soon as it is going to hit you then you have to press jump button, after that you come here. Do a single jump at this point to get a boost of starting in the pivot push map. Keep in mind that a single jump is not a double jump. If you take the boost in starting, then you will be ahead of the other players.
You can go this way too. This is also a fast way to go. Just like you go through the middle. The way to go from here is the same, but still I will tell you. First of all you have to double jump here, after that you have to double jump here, and now you have to double jump here, and then double jump towards the trampoline. If you fall by mistake while going from here, then you have to go back first. After that you have to climb over it because this path will take you to the finish line much faster than normal way. There is another shortcut to go further from here. For this you have to jump over it. After that you have to go straight ahead. If you use it well then it can be very useful for you. Actually you can climb this floor only from the second stair. There is no need for you to waste time by climbing the third stair. And if this floor is at the bottom, then you can climb on top of it without climbing the stair. Climb over Saturn. Then go to the next rock. Then after going back a little, you can climb this ring easily. This trick is one of the best tricks ever. For this, first of all you have to go ahead like this. Then you have to climb over it by doing a double jump here. Then go ahead like this. Now if you want to go ahead from here, you can go, otherwise you can go this way too. It's a bit tricky but you can go ahead this way too. Always play with a friend to get easy in bots lobby. As you can see, in this match only me and my friend are real, but all other players are bots. You can also go from this side in the Lava Rush map. You all must know that more than one person cannot take the same name. Wrong, we can take the same name. As you can see, I just wrote the name of my channel. And as you can see, that someone has already taken my name, then to keep the same name, first click on that name, then you have to give space there, if it is done, after giving one space, then it is fine, but if not work, then you can also try by giving two spaces, as you can see, I have take same name, after giving two spaces. But if you don't, then you can try by giving more space, but keep in mind, that all words together should be less than 13 word.
Let me show you the same name of two player for proof. As you can see, this player also has the same name as my player. If you want the next part of this video, then give a like. So keep like aim of this video, 10k likes. I hope you will complete it. There is a good news for you, our discard server is ready, you all can join it. If 1000 members are completed on that server, then I will do giveaway of stumble pass for you guys. And if you have any tips, tricks and myth, then you can write on our discord server. If I like it, I will use it in my video and tell that you have told it. So go join quickly and you will get the link in the description and comment box. Now what are you thinking, go and join.